Welcome to today's episode of Fun with Drilling Engineering. Drilling engineering is all about finding oil and gas, and today we want to take a look at how oil and gas deposits are formed in the first place. Oil and gas are formed from organic material, which is accumulated over long periods of time. For example, dead plankton, which sediments in the deep sea on the seabed, and here on this rock you can see the stratification of the rock, and this rock remains now for a few million years down in the earth and is overlaid by sediments. Sediments are, for example, sands that are deposited over the organic material and these sands are porous and in the pores of the rock there's usually water in them. Yeah, and under the great pressure and temperature that prevails at the bottom of the deposit, the organic material gradually converts into hydrocarbons, so oil and gas. We recreated this in our experiment. The black layer down here is the source rock with the organic material, and the glass spheres represent the sandstone. And when hydrocarbons are now formed, then they are pressed out of the source rock by the overburden and because the oil and gas are lighter than water the oil and gas slowly rise in the pores of the rock as you see here nicely and most of the oil or gas comes to the surface this way and evaporates there but in special cases it can happen that there is an obstacle in the way I show this through this glass bowl and I fix this glass bowl with a rock that lies over it. And now we can see wonderfully when the rising hydrocarbons meet such an impermeable layer as it is in the case here with our oil or gas. Then the ascending hydrocarbons accumulate Oops below this layer. I think you could see that quite well. And that's how a deposit is formed. So a conventional deposit is characterized by the fact that we have a source rock where the hydrocarbons are formed. The hydrocarbons then have to rise through porous permeable rock and come up against an impermeable layer and this layer has to be shaped like a cap. Then the gas and the oil can accumulate underneath it and they can be separated in density. The gas on top and the oil underneath and the pore space in the rock underneath is filled with water. Yeah, and with that we've already explained the most important things and for those who want to know more come to our lecture Fundamentals of Drilling Engineering. We're looking forward to seeing you all in Freiburg. Glück auf!